everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can see by the title we today are doing another full face first impression and this is full face except brows and lashes because i never really do first impressions on lashes do i that's weird is that weird today we are playing with a host of products i want to try for ages things like smashbox opv new brand new palette this palette from makeup revolution Pixie highlight. Then we've also got lots and lots of drugstore like Bourjois, Rimmel, Technic, Ardell, a whole heap of wonderful things. This is the outcome and if you want to see how I did it then just keep on watching. Okay let's get this party started because I'm actually on a bit of a time crunch today. Yes, done my hair differently today. Wow. <laughs> doesn't even look good. So, to begin, we have two different primers. I can't decide which one to use. Obsession, Makeup Obsession sent me a big parcel with primers and concealers, but Ardell also sent me some stuff after watching my video where I tested their foundation and they sent me the In Her Prime Illuminating Face Primer and I'm really drawn to this one because the foundation that I'm going to use is matte so I think instead of using the Makeup Obsession I'm going to use the Ardell in her prime and we'll see what this is like because who, who, who cares? <laughs> Scottish. Just going to whack this all over. I actually might use a little bit of that in my T-zone because it will blur my pores, hopefully. Let's just whack this all over. You know me and primers, we're not the best of friends, but I'll use them sometimes, especially in a full face first impression scenario. Oh, it is well. You know, say my face looks a little bit shinier which is what you want from an illuminating primer and then I think I will use the Makeup Obsession Picture Perfect Pore Blurring Primer through whence I get pores so I'm just gonna like pop a glob on my finger and like put it here and then also I like to put like pore blurring primers on my big forehead because I got forehead wrinkles because I still ain't had my Botox. The skin feels really nice and smooth though. I do think that the um, pore blur and primer's kind of taken down the illumination. Kind of counteracted it, but fine. My face feels good. Next, we move on to foundation. I picked up the Smashbox Studio Skin. Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation Oil Free. Medium to full buildable coverage, oil free, controls the oil all day. That's not really an issue for me, but sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant. Again, exercise resistant. What exercise? <laughs> uh, Colour True and Transfer Resistant Demi Matte Finish. I got shade 0.5, which I think is going to be slightly too pale, although I am very pale. I mean, look at me. I'm very pale. I'm a pale person. I like. I'm the same colour as my wall, yet people are like, oh, your foundation is so pale. Well, no, it's not. Let's give this a shot, shall we? It's a generic smelling, kind of generic liquidiness. I think it was like £29. So that was just a couple of pumps of the foundation. Um, and I think I need a little bit more because I feel like some areas of my face have more on it than others. But I'll do a close up and show you kind of what one layer is looking like. But that is one layer on the old skin. I'll just throw on a quick like second layer and then we'll come back and try concealer because I'm very excited for the concealer. But that foundation looks real nice, like, yeah. I can still see my skin, 
But my skin looks so evened out. Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. So yeah, I'll do a quick second layer, show what that looks like, and then we'll move on to concealer. So that is two layers on, and my skin looks amazing. Really, really like this uh, foundation. Sorry, so far. Is that not hair? No. So let's move on to concealer. We do have two, but there's one I definitely want to try more, so that's one I'm going to try. We've got the new Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal, which is like the fattest concealer in the world. This is shade two. And then I have the Lottie London Got It Covered High Coverage, and I want to try the high coverage because I'm me. So we're going to try this one, and I'm really starting to enjoy Lottie London quite a lot so we're gonna try this one this is in the shade porcelain and this has like a squidgy applicator so I did try it on the back of my hand I definitely have a hair somewhere down here and um, it seems quite dark to be called porcelain but nevertheless we shall try and blend it up Blending out really easy. I'd say it's just a pinch lighter than my foundation, to be honest. Which is fine, sometimes I don't need that like crazy bright highlighted under eye, so I'm not mad at all when I compare to the other eye. Looks brighter. I think it's just I've got quite deep tear troughs and they seem to be getting deeper which is real fun and I think like I explained in my chit chat get ready with me I don't know if that's up or not it will be should be um I'm kind of getting fake sleeps like I'm sleeping really well in terms of like I fall asleep almost instantaneously um when I start listening to my audiobook um but I think it's more because it's like drug induced sleep like you know all the medications I'm on so I don't know if I'm getting like real sleep so I don't know. that's just a theory I have um, but I like this concealer so far it kind of feels like the bye bye under eye in terms of like it's consistency just a bit thinner um, yeah I think that looks pretty good medium coverage could be high coverage, it could just be my tear troughs. I don't see a lot of blueness under my eyes, so I'm not like super worried about that. Yeah, and that was really cheap, so primer was really cheap, foundation's pretty expensive, cheap concealer. We've got a high and low today, which I really like having a balance of in my videos. Right. Before we do any kind of powdering, I have this Ardell Glam Touring Highlight and Contour Duo. Oh, it's not got any wrapping, so it's got like a concealer kind of side and then a contouring kind of side. So we're going to try this out because I love cream contouring, you guys. No, i not. We're just going to try the contour side because I've already concealed, obviously, so... Warm toned. It's gonna wet it. I think it helps things blend easier. Contouring side worked well. I feel like it blended over this foundation really well. It's not patchy, doesn't look weird. It's slightly warm toned. I do feel kind of more bronzed and like just sun kissed. Um, does it have a shade? It's a shade light. So if they had a medium, I'd actually probably like pick medium hoping it was more kind of cool toned and 
I'm just gonna spritz my face with this Primark Primer War. Just to kind of keep the hydration levels up because we're gonna use a liquid highlighter and I'm really bad at doing this. So, wish me luck. We are gonna try, it's not in my box. <laughs> We're gonna try the Ardell Attitude Adjuster, Adjuster Adjuster Shade FX Drops. This is in the shade Game Changer. Um, mix into favorite formula, dab over makeup or wear on bare skin. We're gonna dab over makeup, so let's give this bad boy a try and give it a good shake. I swatched this on the back of my hand and it really reminds me of the iconic London color. So we'll see. Grab my sponge actually. Using your sponge is good because it's still got like residual foundation on it, so it's like not going to be too harsh. Let me check if it's removing my makeup. Okay, it doesn't appear to be removing makeup from underneath it. Brilliant news. That looks quite nice. And it's not like ruined my makeup below it. So we'll just quickly do the other side and then we will, what will we do? I think we'll move on to eyes. So yeah, we just do like a dab on the old schnoz. I think this works best with your finger, by the way. Okay, so I think we're finished with base. Now we're gonna move on to eyes. So I'm gonna jump off camera, do this eye off camera like usual, so that I can get a feeling of what I wanna do, and then we'll come back and do the other eye on camera together, and I'll show you what palettes I'm using. So I'll be back in one moment. So I've done this eye, it's nothing revolutionary but i don't have anything revolutionary inside of my body right now so this is the new opv spotlight palette it's first time i'm using an opv palette on my channel and it's to be honest the first opv palette that's actually interested me it actually releases today but i got sent it yesterday by a pr company and this is what it looks like on the inside and the main color i've used is this one here called Neutrality. I've got that all over my eyelid. Now I did have to dip into the new Makeup Revolution Reloaded Marvelous Mattes and I've used these top three yellow and orange so we will dip in and out but we shall do it together just now because we're friends. We're all friends here. We're all friends. Huh? And this is where I'm going to get a lot of fallout because when I do the eye I can like lean down over a mirror but anyway. Let's begin. I'm going to begin by taking Exposure, which is the black. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Oh, I should probably get rid of the creases. I'll just do it all out of focus and that will really help. So I'm just going to take that all the way through the crease. And a lower lash line. In fact, I'm just going to cover my whole eyelid and my crease. So now I have that black place sign, which by the way, barely any fallout with a black eyeshadow is pretty darn impressive. I'm going to go in with Dazzle Night, which is this top brown. And I'm just going to completely just blend out this, like the, what's it called, the edges of this black. Just make it a bit easier. Get me going in with black, eh? like I'm not frightened of it. I'm 
the reason I put the black all over the eyelid is just to make that green pop more. Someone asked me in a recent um, video on Instagram like why I would put black all over my eyelid and that's just the reason. It just helps things pop a bit more um, when you put like metallics on top. Um, now I'm going to go in with Star, which is this ready shade. It's like a burgundy before I go in with orange. And then I'm going in with the shade Glimmer, which is this orange. I think Glimmer should be the name of like a really shimmery metallic shade. No? Like it just baffles me, the names. I'm gonna kind of go over that red and to be honest, this orange kind of let me down, which is why I moved into that Makeup Revolution palette. I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was giving me enough. This is my first time trying OPV shadows um, and I'm fine. I love the metallic green. I'm dipping into the Makeup Revolution Marvelous Matte. So I'm picking up this orange on a fluffy brush. Um, I'm just gonna start blending out all around what we've done. Sometimes I forget like what first impressions are and what um, tutorials are because I feel like I'm just doing a tutorial right now. I'm supposed to just be like talking about the formula and like how it blends and stuff. It blends fine, the formula's fine. It doesn't massively impress me. Like I'm not probably gonna pick up this palette ever again. I'm probably gonna depot these two shades because the blue is really beautiful as well and then not use the rest to be honest I'm just blending around what we've done and then we'll go with that yellow so i'm gonna kind of mix the two yellows together just on that fluffy brush There isn't a yellow in the OPV palette and I think when you have like lots of oranges and reds you need a yellow to blend the edges because there isn't an edge blending shade in the OPV palette for my skin tone anyway. For a deeper skin tone definitely, which is great, but for my skin tone no. And I think a palette should kind of have something that works for every skin tone to be honest. You can see we're starting to build that up. I need to go in with a bit more orange. And so I'm taking that from the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm just gonna play about my blending because this is a first impressions. I'm not supposed to be like tutorialing right now. Um, I will say that the mattes in this palette, the three that I've used so far, are really impressive and I can't wait to do like a full look just using this palette just to show that really cheap makeup can be really, really good like we like to do on this channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out and I'll come back to you when we're ready to put the green on because this is just stupid. I'm just gonna run black along my lower lash line and like my waterline and then yeah, we'll be back. So I've kind of finished my blending. We can come back to it. We're now going in with the shade Notoriety, which is my favorite one. We're gonna pop that all over the eyelid with a flat brush. This just happens to be the ABH A2 brush. Look at that um, colour payoff from that metallic. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your whole life that's green? Taking that all over the mobile eyelid. And then I'm going to take Blunt Canvas E10, which is like this tiny little blending brush. Dipping into that same shade, and I'm going to start blending it up in my crease. I think we're done, then you add more pain. 
this metallic is insane so i think maybe the opv metallic formula is really impressive but the mattes maybe not so much that's the vibes i'm getting especially from like when i swatch it and stuff i'll try and throw the swatches on screen now um and when i swatch them i tried to make them look good so all the mattes were probably gone over like three times whereas the shimmer is probably only twice and um, so hopefully you're seeing those on the screen so i'm just going to throw on my lashes and then we'll be back and finish off skin with some new products okay so moving on to powder i've got two powders to use that's four i got two the first one i got sent this while ago and i've just never tried it it's the gosh prime and set primer and matte fine setting primer i just took the plastic off it when i opened it like it's already like out so it's not like got like a seal on it or anything i don't know anyway we're gonna put this under my eyes because that's what you do in life let's just say like a small bit of baking Are you happy to see that I uh, highlighted both inner corners? I had this little flashback because it is so finely milled. It feels like an HD powder. Okay, and then for the rest of my face, I've got NW20 MAC Studio Fix. Finally bought a new Studio Fix powder. And this one is a warmer one, it's NW. It's gonna suit my complexion way more, I think. It's just gonna make me more warm, basically. And I'm just gonna double dabble this around with my powder brush. This foundation is pretty matte though, like probably not needing to set my face matte, but I have powders and I want to use them and they're new, so I need to use them in a video of new products. Dirk. Okay, let's remove this fake. I can readjust my under eye eyeshadow where needed, but it's not oxidized, it's not changed the colour of anything, everything looks absolutely fine, it's pretty brightening. Um, let me do a quick flash test. Hold on one moment. I need to get out of my perfect whites. Yeah, this uh, this powder has pretty bad flashback. I could just tell. Do you not use this powder for flash photography? So I don't have a new powder contour product so I'll throw on a powder contour and then we'll move on to bronzer because I do have a new bronzer and I'm dying to try it. So I use my Smashbox Holiday like contour palette contour for bronzer. We're going for a drugstore product, and this is the Bourjois Matte Illusion Bronzing Powder. This is in the lightest shade, and this is just a satisfying look. You won't be able to see, but it's like a slightly curved pan. I just cannot wait to put this on my face. I love Bourjois bronzer. Where is it? I have had this for years. I mean, I need to put this in the bin, but sometimes I still reach for it. So I've always liked that bronzer, so I'm hoping I like this one too. This one seems to have a, quite a lot of kick up in the pan. But let's see what happens. It is pigmented, and why it is pigmented? I kind of wasn't expecting it. It's a chocolate bar one. I always felt like you could just keep layering it and layering it. This one seems quite a lot more. I'm 
I mean, this is going on like butter. It's more pigmented than I expected, but I don't mind that. Um, I'll just know to use a lighter hand. This is a gorgeous bronzer. I think this was about $6.99, $5.99, $7.99, I don't know. Way less than £10. Bourgeois, they're not generally that expensive, although I do think that they're kind of higher end of the drugstore. They're kind of mint drugstore, I would say. Um, wow, it's definitely bronzed me up. Sheesh capiche. Yeah, I'm so much more bronze now. I love this so much. Yeah, and then for highlight, I picked up the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Jewel Highlighter. This is in the shade Delicate Dew. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Maybe if I take the lid off. It's like a lighter pink and then like a deeper bronze. I'm not sure that would work for my skin tone. I think it would leave quite a deep cast on my skin tone. But the pink one will definitely work for me. It's gorgeous. Let's try the pink side. Let's just try it dry, see what happens. I might, I might kind of, yeah, I'm going to dibble. Dibble dabble between the two, but more so into the pink. I've literally only heard good things about this, these highlighters in general. is so gorgeous. I'm so glad I finally bought it. I've really been wanting to try Pixie makeup for a long time. I just find their prices are quite expensive and from like looking at people, other people like using it in videos and stuff, it's quite hit and miss. But this highlighter is so stunning. And it was £20 so it wasn't cheap. But you get two shades, pretty good size, um, 8.3 grams. And then we have a new blush. I picked up the Rimmel Maxi blush in the shade 004 Sweet Cheeks. We're gonna put this on. This looks really pretty. And it will go with the eyes because we've got warm tones on the eyes, so it'll be fine. Never really met a Rimmel blush that I don't like, to be honest, so. That's so peachy, and I love a peachy blush. I always think it blends into your bronzer really beautifully, especially if you've got warm tones on your eyes, like. That's so nice, it's really pigmented. Maybe put it on a pinch too much, but I don't care. I think just lips are left. We could go high end or we could go drugstore. Um, what do we have in this box? And what colour? I think nude would be best. So I might try this Technic lip kit. Technic is so inexpensive and they now do lip kits because everyone does lip kits. This is the matte lip colour in the shade barely there and I imagine this is in the shade yeah barely there lip pencil as well so let's give this a go and see if it's any good because it could be absolute rubbish Technic is hit and miss so I'm actually just going to fill in my lips with the colour and then I'll go over with the lip liner and just like really overdraw my lips like a really nice peachy warm nude and it's really pale which I really like and then I'll go in with the lip liner this will be a test see how good this is this lip liner is really smooth really creamy Honestly, cheap lip liners are like just as good as high-end ones, in my opinion. And this liquid lipstick feels so not drying at all. 
I mean, that's gorgeous. That could be high end. You wouldn't know, would you? You need to know how much this look actually retails for, though, because like that would be the killer. If it's like twelve pounds, I'm like, that's expensive. If it's like five pounds, I'm like, bad. So I'm even more shocked. Those lip kits. And by the way, this is the packaging they come in, but all different colours. Um, like this doesn't reflect the colour of what's inside. If that makes sense. Four pounds for the Technic lip kits. Depending how this kind of feels in like an hour, I'll let you know how it's like what I think of it. But I do want to put a gloss on top because I did get this new. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like I've got a frog in my throat. Um, lip gloss from Too Faced, which is all the stars high, high shine sparkling lip gloss. So I'm gonna make sure this is fully dry because I hate transferring like lipstick onto the lip gloss wand. It's still kind of transferring, so I'll give it a couple of minutes, but this is what it looks like just here. Look at that packaging. Let's just give it a go, I never wear gloss. And I need to start. Oh, wow. It's actually really going to change the colour of the lip. No, I think I like that. I think I'll, put, yeah. something else in it. It's a little bit different for me, which is always nice. So of course, this is the overall look. What do you think? Um, I will go through a few of the products and tell you what my opinions are on them and we can, yeah, just have a very short discussion. And then, yeah, I'm on, I'm on schedule to finish for three o'clock, which is good because, uh, yeah, okay. So, first of all, this Smashbox Studio Skin foundation I really really like I definitely didn't need to add darkening drops because I do feel like it oxidized very slightly my neck is definitely paler and if I peel this down you can see how pale my chest is compared to my face but that's fine with a high neck top I can make it work it's just really nice on my skin it has settled into the fine lines of my forehead and um, I need Botox so not in my smile lines. Um, the concealer is nice, but I need to play with it more and see how full, full, full coverage it is because it does claim to be full coverage. So I do kind of want to play with that more. These Ardell Attitude Adjusters, I want to try mixing these in with the foundation because on top it left that weird speck, which I've now covered up with highlight, but it did leave a weird speck and it was better with your fingers and I hate blending makeup with my fingers. That's just personal preference though, so that might not put you off. Um, the primers both seem nice. Primer's primer to me, to be honest. I don't get excited about primer. Obviously, I love my Studio Fix. This is a repurchase. And this Gosh Powder, I'll need to test again, but it does have flashback. So I'm gonna wanna, I wanna test the priming aspect of it, but in terms of like setting, Yes, it set my under eyes, but it gave me flashback, and that is not great if you're going to be doing flash photography. Technic lip kits, four pounds. Recommend four pounds to get one that you like. I kept the nude, a red, and a mauve, and they all come with matching lip liners. Would definitely recommend this bronzer. It's lovely. It's quite pigmented, so maybe use a, like a lighter hand. Rimmel Maxi blush, great blush. You can't go wrong with a blush. Pixie highlight was amazing. Love it. I want to see what other highlights they've got. This lip gloss, it's just a bit different for me. Something sparkly, glossy. I quite like it. I quite like it with the eye. Um, I like the contour side of the Ardell thing. I think that worked, although it was quite warm toned. Um, is there anything I'm missing? Well, obviously the eyeshadow palettes. Um, OPV. I, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. I find the mattes are quite lacklustre, but the shimmers are really quite special. Like, they have a lot of pigment. They are very, very pretty. Um, 
and they're they're just really nice i'm not entirely convinced about the mats though to be honest um but like those shimmers are beautiful and then i only kind of tried a few shades from this i want to do a full look with it it's makeup revolution it's four pounds i'm not expecting the world but I'm excited to give it a go and like try and do like a whole eye look, but it is all matte, so I will struggle, but there we go, we'll try. Overall, very happy with today's makeup look. I think it looks pretty good. My hair looks cute. I'm feeling cute. I've just taken my painkillers, so I'm feeling a bit better. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I love know what you think of the makeup. I know what eyes aren't revolutionary, but you know, whatever, green, sparkly, nice. I got them into prep, they're fine. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, so I know to keep doing first impressions. Um, I have the Boots first impressions coming, and then uh, a few other exciting videos. So yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already, because then you will know when I post, which is every Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. So yeah, I post three times a week, even though I have a full-time job. So, dedication, so please subscribe. Bye everyone. Wow, what was that move? Wow. Bye. <laughs>